Yeah, so we're here on pilot season. Like we said, we have a team of actors, a team of writers. They're gonna collaborate on an original sitcom pilot. Uh, Val, while we're meeting our teams, will you reach out to our Twitch chat and I get know. a suggestion of one of those big life events that starts like sort of a fish out of water sitcom pilot? Yep. Um, we have writers and we have actors. Writers have, we've been trained for this through life. We know the actors are going first. Uh, what? <laughs> That's fine. Uh, we're going to start, uh, we're going to meet all of our actors. Uh, let us know what you're working on with the Trident Network and also your favorite sitcom. We're going to start with Trent Dozier. Oh my gosh, Ryan, thank you. Um, I'm I'm Trent Dozier, um, as Ryan said. I would say the main thing, thank you, Rob. Huge round of applause from Rob. We love that. I would say the main thing that I'm working on currently at the Trident Network is um, the the perfect show at the Trident Network. Uh, I love improv with Trent Dozier, of which I am the titular Trent Dozier. Um, but it's an it's an improv podcast, which is, I, I think is probably why I've been selected to be here on this day. It falls within my realm of limited capabilities. Um, in terms of uh, sitcoms, I don't know if this is a freaking hack answer or not, but I was I was a big um, fan of the classic NBC Thursday night lineup, Office, Community, Parks and Rec, 30 Rock. And then um, the two I was thinking about, I literally just looked up right now. I Googled, is this show a sitcom? And technically both of them were considered sitcoms, <laughs> uh, but South Park and It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, oh. Yeah, we've we've had those conversations. If animated, if sitcoms can be animated, do they need to have laugh tracks, things like that? Mm. Both of those, I think, definitely qualify. Um, quick follow up question: If you could have any job within the world of a sitcom, any any workplace, any job that a sitcom character does, if you could take one of those, which would it be? Probably. I would love to be like just a general delivery type person who you see maybe once, twice, three times a season. And you're like, oh, he's back again. Oh, that's a nice little arc for that guy. And then uh, I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Trent. Uh, this week we thank also- Thank you, Ryan. Have... Thank you. We also have Rob Grabowski. Rob. Oh, thank you so much. Season. Thank you, Trent. Thank you. Yeah, Rob, same questions. What are you working on and your favorite sitcom? Oh, I don't do anything for the uh, Trident Network. I don't know why I'm here. That's uh, a lie. Val wants me to do a podcast, and I keep putting it off because of time. <laughs> uh, but one day, oh, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> and then, man, my favorite. So I want to say Simpsons, but I feel like it, that's such a different, it's a different beast at this point. But I have to say my favorite sitcom is probably Frasier. We hear, wow. we hear that one a lot. That's a great sitcom, and it's also a great sitcom apartment. Yeah, it's that is beautiful, And it's so, like, the width of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, crazy. it's great. There's all these hidden rooms back there we see once a season. Yeah. Uh, Rob, if you could live in any sitcom town, which would you pick? Oh, Pawnee, Indiana. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I think so. And then uh, joining us again, returning, we have a, a pilot season all-star, oh. Carly Heiser. Carly, welcome back. Hello, hello. Pleasure to be here. Carly, what are you working on? What's your favorite sitcom? I do a show on the Trident Network called The Spark about the universe and everything. It's about emotional regulation and self-mastery. Um, it's very fun. I do it with my co-host, Jess. Um, that's going to be actually next Sunday. The, the episode for this month is next Sunday, 2 PM. We always do it 2 PM central. Um, here it's a live show on the Twitch on the Trident network Twitch. It's also a video that gets recorded and it's on our, it's on the YouTube too. So if you ever miss one, you can catch them on the YouTube. Um, but that's my show on the Trident network. I'm also part of the leadership team on the Trident network. Um, love having leadership meetings. <laughs> um, and my favorite sitcom so i was thinking about this thank god i went last i was thinking about this i don't re-watch a lot of shows i'm just not mm. i'm usually i'm trying to watch another show like if i'm gonna watch sit down and watch a show i want to watch a new show um but the two shows that came to mind first was ted lasso oh. because 
for like a really long time, the pandemic, I was like, I can't stand watching TV anymore. It's too dramatic. All of these shows are making me sad and feel frustrated and weird. And I don't want to watch any of them. And then I watched Ted Lasso and I was like, you know what, maybe I will watch TV again (laughs) because it made me feel really good all the time. And I loved um, the characters and the British humor and um, everything about that show. And then I thought about like one of like all time favorite all time favorite rom-com or not rom-com sitcom would be Golden Girls probably just because it's like so Mm, so good so tight so and like still like different because it's like oh these these like older ladies all living together in Florida like that's which is it's not like you know dumb husband hot wife like it was like so like I really like and it was so funny it was just like Golden Girls is dense with jokes there's a joke line of dialogue (laughs) quick they they talk in jokes yeah uh, and Carly, real quick, if you could be the member of a sitcom family, which family would you join? The member of a sitcom family. So I keep wanting to say this and it's not a sitcom, but I would want to be on Star Trek, which is not a sitcom, but it, that <laughs> is my answer. Yeah. No, it's not a sitcom. I would want to be on <laughs> Star Trek. So. That's All right. Answer, <laughs> I think that counts. We had someone mention X Files as their favorite sitcom one episode, so I feel like Star Trek definitely counts. That's like saying I, my favorite sitcom, Sixty Minutes. Oh, I can't wait to be part of that universe. <laughs> I would love to be Is on Sixty Minutes. Is it not? <laughs> Are we not on Sixty Minutes right now? <laughs> if you're on 60, 60 Minutes, it's bad news. You're not, we don't want to be on. That. I would what love if you're to hosting. Be on <laughs> Uh, on our writers team th- this episode, we have Laura Leland. Laura, welcome to pilot season. Thank you for having me. Laura, let us know uh, what you're working on and your favorite sitcom. Um, I actually, I'm on the leadership team here at Trident. I don't have your show. Um, and I'm currently a pro bono screenwriter here in LA. So cool. favorite sitcom, um, it'd have to be a tie between Parks and Rec or like Carly Golden Girls, because who doesn't love sassy female friendship and cheesecake, right? So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Laura, uh, follow-up question. If you could work any sitcom job, take any sitcom character's job, which would you pick? Oh, um, I'd probably take Elaine Bennis's job from Seinfeld, but not when she was working in publishing when she had to work, write descriptions for the weird catalog she was writing. Oh, yeah, that's even better. Peterman. All right. So also on the writers team, we have Ian Smith. Oh, hey. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, thanks for having me. Ian, what, what are you working on? What's going on with you at the Trident Network? And what's your favorite sitcom? So I do the Dr. Raymond Pants Books on Tape On Demand podcast. So those are like hour long comedy audiobooks. Uh, our newest one is coming out whenever I get the second half recorded. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty exciting. Um, then yeah, favorite sitcom. I'm probably on my 80th rewatch of Always Sunny. So I love that show so much. Yes. Hell yeah. That's a great one to dip in and out of too. You can You can watch episodes from various seasons and just put together a little festival if you want. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. They're just fun. Um, Ian, uh, same question as Carly. If you could join a sitcom family or crew, which would you pick? I would have to join the Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, no, really. I, I love Always Sunny. Like they're just, they're fun and working at a bar. seems like that would be cool, especially if there's just <laughs> unlimited money. <laughs> everything just resets and then i want to be a leopard they got that figured out <laughs> on our writers team this week we have amanda recupido amanda Hi. welcome good to see you again <laughs> you too um what are you working on what's new with you and your favorite sitcom yeah so on trident network i have the inconceivable podcast which you can also get merch um Val can oh. like put the link wherever she can put the link um get like a fancy mug i think you can get merch for all trident shows that is correct um get on it um love a good hat there you go um i am also currently producing um a show that'll be at the den live next month called so fucked it's funny which is a post-row comedy fundraiser for midwest 
this project. Um, so watch the space, AKA my Instagram. Um, and favorites that come, I'm so happy because I went last. I was worried someone was going to take this. Going back to the classics, like foundational, formative, timeless. I Love Lucy is like what got me interested in comedy. Mm -hmm. um, there's a through line to my next favorite sitcom, um, like when I was in college and beyond, Will and Grace. Um, which brings, I'm going to just say, a through line to current day Broad City. Because, um, again, it's these smart, sassy, goofy women just, you know, doing their doing their stuff. I love it. Uh, is there a sitcom town that you would like to live in? So also not a sitcom, but Star Wars Hollow from Gilmore Girls. That, I think, <laughs> is the most common answer that we get. We definitely <laughs> accept that as a sitcom town. Yeah, I did do a girl, uh, Gilmore Girls uh, fan festival tour um, in a small town in Connecticut that kind of like recreated Luke Steiner and everything. So I feel I feel I did. And it was amazing. Was there a gazebo? Of course there was a gazebo. It's Connecticut. <laughs> there were like a million gazebos. <laughs> All right. There, there better be. Yeah. Uh, Val, do we have a suggestion yet? We have so many, but we got one twice. So that's the one I'm going to take, and it's having a baby. Having a baby. All right. So, Val, we're going to hash this out a little bit. While we're doing this, will you start searching for a title for us? Absolutely. All right. So we're going to start with our actors again. Um, I want to know any, just from this suggestion immediately, any characters that you see popping up in this, especially in our first act, anything that you're inspired to create on camera. We'll start with Trent. Well, obviously the parents of the child um, and the baby itself, but outside of those three obvious ones, uh, what's the, um, what's the name? If you're doing like a, if you're doing a home birth, isn't there, what's the name of the person? Doula. Uh, Doula. 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 Yeah, Doula. Yeah. Doula. Oh, thank you, Dula. Yeah, Rob, midwife was in my mind, but I was like, that doesn't feel right. There's a is, better are they name not, for it. Is, are they not the same? That's a legit question. I don't know. I've never had a baby. <laughs> I don't There's have a different child. different training, but like kind of the same. And also you can have a doula um, in a hospital or a midwife in a hospital too. Okay. Um, by the way, my uh, podcast has to do with- uh, Plugs are done. <laughs> we have a, we not only have- an expert in the writer's room, we have like an onset consultant. This is really getting <laughs> exciting. We're, we're gonna have to start, we're gonna have a union team here in just a second. Yeah. Uh, Rob, same question. Any characters that you're inspired by with this initial suggestion? Uh, you know, classic trope of a sitcom, maybe like the mother-in-law, the overbearing mother-in-law who just wants to be the best grandma out there. But mm. also like, I don't know, maybe the, somehow they live next door to the pediatrician who takes care of the baby, something of that nature. I love that. Carly, same question. Any any people that you're seeing in your head yet? I was also thinking of the mother-in-law. Um, a lot of my friends have mother-in-laws who are like, so when when is this <laughs> happening? When is this happening? So I've been getting I've been getting a lot of that Do I vibe. Get the baby. Um yeah, when is my baby <laughs> being born? Um, but then I also thought of like like um a, like an aunt or an uncle or a friend or someone who like who like is not trying to be a parent ever. Um, mm -hmm. And then is now like has this situation um, for whatever, for whatever reason, either because they're, that's just not something that they're doing or because they're like very much should not have any children. Um, but like, definitely like a character who's like, not who's like, like a, like a wild card character in, in like a, what would be a traditional nuclear families situation. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Um, writers, so we're, we've got some characters brewing that we're going to see soon. What we need now, we need some locations and we need some situations that they might find themselves in. Ian, we'll start with you. Any inspirations already for different places we might see our characters and what situations with a new pregnancy? Uh, I would say, I'm kind of thinking maybe one of them's going to Dave and Buster's a little too much because they're a little worried about having a kid and they want to like kind of escape from that. <laughs> But they're just there way too often. The staff's starting to worry about them at this point. <laughs> yeah, somebody's trying to get that Dave and Buster's time while you can because you don't know. Got to fit it in. And it's gone for good. Can't ski yeah. ball when you're tired. Exactly. Amanda, same question. Yeah, well, what I like to write, I like to inject a little political statement as always. Um, and I think a challenge for any working parent um, would be coming back to a workplace 
Um, and also keeping in mind, we haven't identified who this couple is. It doesn't have to be a straight couple. Um, so I'm curious to see all the interesting things our actors come up with with that. Absolutely. Um, and Laura, same question. Any situations or locations that you see coming up? Oh, um, let's see. Um, a yoga class might be fun. Um, let's see. Thinking maybe a maybe a maternal pre-baby type book club or ladies who lunch. Um, I don't know. And uh, I know you didn't ask about characters. I'm not even okay. sure if this is like a supposed to be an animated or live sitcom we're writing, but. I think it might be cool to have an older sibling character who really is already hating this new baby or a family pet if we're going animated. Which, yeah. Family pet is encouraged regardless. Uh, Val, do we have a title? We have so many titles. <laughs> I'm just going to read them all off and you all can pick which one you want. Okay. All right. Starting out strong with two big babies. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that seems Can like they, they want me and, Ro me and Rob to be big babies. Yeah. Do you want us to be big babies? <laughs> Is this that kind of show? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Um, then we've got Baby Wars. Um, Did you say Baby, baby Wars? Wars, yes. Okay. Um, then we have... <laughs> I almost heard Baby Horse. And I was like, okay, they could be horses. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got It's a Bad, Bad Baby. <laughs> Um, then we've got my, my fair baby. Okay. Uh, then I threw in a suggestion, but we don't have to take it. It's no candula. It's a good one. Um, then we've okay. got it takes two la. <laughs> um, doula peep, which is a niche suggestion referring to how Wendy Williams pronounced doula leap. <laughs> oh. oh. Um, we've got. Full baby boon, and uh, that is it. All so, right, any any early favorites? I like Baby Wars. <laughs> yeah, Baby, baby Wars stuck out to me as well. Yeah. I feel like um, that that's a bad baby. Sounds like the sequel to like a movie with Damien or whatever, the child from yeah. The Omen. Um, so that could be a little darker, um, but I, I do, I really, Baby Wars, I think was the one that I reacted strongest to. Yeah. And Val, what was the one with two babies? It was one of the first ones. <laughs> uh, the first one was two big babies and right, I'll so give you $1 if you can guess who came up with that suggestion. Was that in your house or mine? <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Zula Peep came from my house. Uh, yes, it did. Because <laughs> uh, I was going to suggest if our show was called Baby Wars and the title of this episode was Two Big Babies. Oh, I love that. Oh. Perfect. Uh, so real quick, before we jump into this, uh, we'll start with our writers again. Last minute sort of brainstorm. Ian, uh, what era is this show set in? Are we set in the present day or a different time? Oh, um, I could see this being like the 80s. So modern-ish, but like a bit ago. Yeah, we're pre-smartphone. That's always fun. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, we had a question earlier in our sort of private chat on this end, if the actors could swear. And as always, the Trident Network has written a grant for me to pass on to the FCC. So any, any fines that are caused by people dropping any kind of language bomb were totally covered. But a question for you to help us decide is, what style of show is this in terms of like, what network would it be on? Does it have a laugh track or no? Uh, is there a TV rating? Is this TV MA? Is it animated? Etc. Yeah, well, because it's the 80s, um, it'd be very ahead of its time for it to be on HBO, as much as I would love this to be like the Gary or the Larry Sanders show for babies. Um, so, <laughs> I mean, sky's the limit. If you want to create like a real groundbreaking HBO show from 1986, just say the word. I mean, it's definitely not animated. I want to swear. I think in reality, it is like, you know, network laugh track, but like, you know, it's 
this is where we we have to say yes, right? So let's do this like gritty <laughs> yeah. baby wars. Like, gritty babies. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. And Laura, you were going to issue a challenge to our actors in our first act. Give us a line of dialogue that you would like to hear in this first act. And then anyone, it'll just be on everyone's sort of back burner to drop it in when it's the perfect time. Okay. How about, honey, that doesn't go there. <laughs> Can you say that one more time? Honey, that doesn't go there. Honey, that doesn't honey, go. Honey, that doesn't go there. Zers, you got that? All right. Got it. It feels I, like- I wrote it down. I got it. <laughs> it feels like we're ready to do the first act of a soon to be classic sitcom pilot called Baby Wars. Pilot, colon, two big babies. <laughs> Al, are you ready? Oh, let's do it. All right. Okay. Well, okay. huh? Huh? Go ahead. No, you say it. No, you go. No, you had a question. I was just going to do a statement. No, say your statement. Maybe it'll inform my question. <laughs> I need to be changed. Oh, can I be, can I be honest? Me yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, that's what do I'm you, talking about. Do you think the big people will be here soon to change us? <laughs> I hope so. I haven't figured out how to change it myself. So I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's a big one, because I'm a big baby. Yeah. Hey, what if we try to figure it out ourselves? Mm, I don't know. I usually just scream until I get cleaned. Oh, sometimes I just sit in it to see what it feels like, to feel the dirt I made myself. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love making dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, you know what? What? Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, I waited as long as I could. <laughs> oh. I waited as long as I could. A big person. Big person. But he's not back yet, and I guess because I'm the other dad. <laughs> Falls to me. It's the mustache one. The one it's who the... loves us the most. Yeah, mustache one loves us the mustache. most. Right. Okay, all right. Oh, God, you're moving so much. Okay, I'm going to take the second biggest one first. <laughs> That's you. Oh. Good uh. luck. Uh. Wow. You know, I haven't slept in two days, but it's like I love you even more every time I look at you. It's freaking me out. Thank you, mustache big person. You're welcome. Change, change this. <laughs> must be, must be the lack of sleep. So, anyway, like I was saying the last time I was in here. Your grandmother, she's knocking down the door. She's knocking down the door to be in here with you. But we're like, it's we need skin to skin. We got to do the skin to skin before any of the other skins touch your skin. Yeah, I love skin to skin. Your skin to skin is the best. Skin to skin is literally the best. And it's not, it's not that I don't want other it's healthy for other people's skin to touch your skin to a degree, especially if they're related to you. However, she's a little overbear. Or do you get that she's overbearing? Yeah, it's a lot. Do you get that? Yeah, <laughs> see, you get it. You get, get the it. vibe. I you keep it. telling us. Well, oh, and maybe, oh, now am I projecting? No, as, no. The, oldest, as the older of the two, because I was five minutes early, I understand more than my brother. I'm assuming. True. And you get that. You get that from her. I, it's not just me. No, I get it. I get it. Okay. I'm well, still great. in my, my filth though. So yeah. Oh, right. right. Okay. Here. I'll get I'll get the smaller one. All right. You're done. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And okay, now the bigger one. Oh, here we go. God, here we go. Wee. <laughs> God bless the ah. surrogate. Okay. Wow. Wow. Good yeah. job. This yeah. is going great. Yeah. Your insides are working. Oh, I'm so yeah, pleased. They are. <laughs> they I'm totally so are. pleased. Yeah. Ugh. But Papa, I think mustache yes. one. Are yes. you proud of us? Am I? I'm gonna start crying. Am I proud of you? Yeah. I'm obsessed with you. 
I don't, no. I'm so obsessed with you. I don't, I'm almost scared to interact with you in case I mess it up. Ronald, I'm Ronald, I'm here. Are the boys here? Who are oh, you talking to? Hey, hey. R Ronald, who are you talking to in there? Hey, Gladys, hey, I'm talking to the, bo the boys, you know, the boys. Yes, my two grandbabies, my yes. two big grandbabies. The oh, huge, your huge they're big, boys. They're big babies, aren't they? We are older, <laughs> older big one. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Oh no. All right. Oh no, Ronald. Yes. Ronald, my, my sweet boy. <laughs> yeah. Can yes. you finish, can you finish up I'm gonna finish him up and then I'll get you too. I need to I'll get changed. you too. This oh, is the gauntlet of my life. Okay. Put me back with done. my brother. You ready? Okay. Yep. Whee! There we go. Oh. There we go. Yay. Can you help me up onto the table? <laughs> yeah, here. You're, you're so, it's like invert, it's like Benjamin Button. We'll just go. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Oh. There we go. The mustachioed one's very strong. I am. I work he's, out. He's the strongest of the big ones that so, I've ever seen. So far. This is nice. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? It's my duty. Ha <laughs> <laughs> duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, 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 darling, that doesn't go there. Please, please. Eat it. Eat it. No, Eat no, it. no, Eat please. It. no, please, no, please, please, please. Please. Give it to me. Give please it to no. me. Please no. No, no. This is even somehow worse. Please. No, no. Oh my God. Oh I no. Got no, the no. Answer the phone, Ronald. Ronald, don't worry about the boys. The phone's ringing off the hook. Oh God. Can you, you're, uh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Ronald, answer the phone. Hello? Hello, is this Ronald? This is the goddamn CIA. <laughs> How did you find me? We'll always find you. We're the CIA, the Central Intelligence Agency? Whatever. <laughs> Look, Ronald, you're one of our top men, and we know you took that, that life. DNA to fix those big fat babies. <laughs> Did you know that was what I've been doing? I'm with the CIA. We God! Oh, everything. Ronald, you need to do this for not only yourself and your children, but for America and the world. We need whatever's in those diapers and we need those big babies. Those babies have got to go to war. My sons? You your want boys. my sons? I want your boys for war. <laughs> well, you're going to have to come get them because I have I am a, also made for war and this is a problem for me that I don't like. <laughs> oh, but they're so young and they're so big. They and need huge. to go to war. <laughs> well, you're going to have to come pick them up because oh. they can't walk. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Unless you have some sort of person who maybe you don't have to go, but maybe there's a, an elder person who has some war experience to him to bring those babies around. Ronald, who the hell are you on the phone with? <laughs> Wait, I recognize that voice. Damn it. You caught us again. How did you know? <laughs> Oh, we're the CIA. We're oh, tapping everything. I'm tapping everything. Everything. Put the put put that lady on the phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll finish changing your diaper. Please, because this is a, a sticky situation. I know it's it's a lot. Yeah. Hello. Listen. Hello. Hello? Yes. yes. Uh, Arms grandma. Up. I know I'm speaking to Grandma. But is it, oh, oh, do you need a moment? Yes, just let me walk over here where Ronald can't hear me. Of course, of course. I'm going to hold know you the go other by, big baby. I know you go by grandma, but am I speaking to double stuff Oreo? Let's just say that that cookie needs to be dunked. Oh, well, I know uh, maybe after this mission, I could dunk some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no Gerald. time for, yeah, oh you were good you recognize my voice grandma Mark. oh i would recognize that voice anywhere you big glass of milk look there's no time for these sexual uh, phrases listen <laughs> i need you back in the in the line of work i need you to bring your big babies with you tell I her have a... tell her 
tell her that it's it's all or nothing. It's all the babies and her or nothing. <laughs> Mr. President, I have this, please. Come on, nobody ever lets me. Mr. President, nobody I have this. Let's me do CIA stuff. Mr. Is that President? Joe? Mr. Is that Joe? Oh wait, no. Is that uh, George? Gerald Ford? It is absolutely. I could, I could fire you. Dare, don't you? Don't you I dare, could. Gerald. Don't I you dare. Would, I could. Okay, then fine. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be in charge of the CIA, Gerald? Yeah, that's no, what I thought. Because I would fire. Okay. 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 Hang on. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> You ever, you ever see Tricky Dick still walking around the office or anything? Or is he, he wants to he, get through that gate, but he we mm -hmm. won't let him. We won't uh, let him. Good, good. Well, where, where were we? I have a, I have eyes on the two big babies. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm just trying to get them. My son's, uh, my son's husband is being um, difficult. I think he might know something is up, or. Or he strongly doesn't know anything is up and is just dumb enough to interfere with me, anyways. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we can get rid of him if you want. <laughs> oh, I got no. You. no, you're sure. No, my yes, my son loves him. My son oh, loves. Oh, him. okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Look, we, we need you though. We need you. The 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 those filthy Ruskies are coming back, baby. We need you to okay. take them down. Okay, I'll see if I can. Um, I'll maybe try and convince him that uh, the that the that the two big babies need a grandma day. Oh, of course, of course. I'll let you go here shortly. But uh, before you go, why I have you on the line? I'd like to talk to you about your extended car warranty. Do you have a moment? <laughs> and no, now a on. word from our sponsors. <laughs> that was Act One of Baby Wars. Oh. Uh, you're all a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> on HBO. I on HBO. Am so excited for. <laughs> I feel like this is a show where anything can happen. Oh my, um, this is literally the Larry Sanders show for babies, <laughs> exactly as Amanda pitched. Absolutely, absolutely. Visionary. Uh, Gritty, let's, dirty. Let's review a little bit uh, who we have so far as characters and who else we might be meeting. We'll start with Trent. Well, we have the, the, the two babies are unnamed. So yeah, for everybody involved right now, that can be one of our goals in act two. We got to name those babies. <laughs> <laughs> You've also played a uh, covert me. spy grandmother. Codename Grandma. <laughs> Codename Grandma. Codename Grandma is a good episode title too. We'll yeah. do that. <laughs> That's a great spinoff. <laughs> um, any other characters that you've been inspired that we might meet or someplace that you see one of your existing characters turning up again? I well definitely definitely grandma trying to grandma seems like grandma seems like she's bad at her job and Rob's uh, CIA person also seems like he's bad at his job oh, it I seems see, yeah. like they're equally like incompetent bad at their jobs it seems like that's where like the humor um would come from from those two in like a incompetence type of sense so grandma and then obviously the big baby that I play, I think, would be yeah. around. <laughs> Great characters, and likewise, Rob. Likewise, Rob, you also played a big baby, and then the head of the CIA. Yeah, uh, one and the same, if you will. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I could pitch something to the room, I feel like the head of the CIA and Grandma have to get in the same room eventually. Uh, any any other characters that you that you'd like to bring us that you know of so far? Um, those could be surprises, but anybody that you're inspired by for our writers. Oh, I mean, I think we got to see maybe some of the bad guys they're up against at some point. Maybe yeah. even the the other dad that we haven't met yet. Maybe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Car the, Carly. The other dad. Could, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was gonna say the other dad could be. If you want to cheers it a little bit, it could be like Norm's wife we only speak of but never see. Yeah. It's like Vera or Maris. Yeah, Maris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Carly, same question. Anybody else that you're inspired? Yeah, uh, I did think of the. I did think of the enemies. Mustache um, Dad and the President were both. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm so glad. Oh man, I'm so glad that you made that the president. <laughs> ah! Oh, so glad that you made that the president. That was perfect. Um, yeah, definitely that. Definitely the enemies that they're up against. Um, and is it like selfish to me to want like more big babies? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. I, in fact, I think the enemy should be Russian babies. 
<laughs> big big Russian babies. <laughs> Army yeah. babies. We need the yeah. uh, Russian babies in the trench babies. Coat. This is yeah. baby wars. Baby exactly. wars. It is baby wars. Uh, <laughs> writers, uh, question for for all of our writers: Where do you see us going next in this episode? Uh, where do we need to go storyline wise, and what characters do you are you anticipating being? You know, if you could make suggestions, uh, we'll start with Ian. Um, well, I think if they're you know in the CIA and being used for a mission, uh, I'd like to see them go to an airport. Like they need to fly wherever <laughs> they're going, but then also like bringing the babies, but then smuggling dirty diapers with them, just because you know I think in our chat like that's the bio weapon. So having to explain to security like why they're taking all this shit with them. I think in the 80s, you could just take it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't care. <laughs> no size limit, right? <laughs> yeah. Amanda, same question. Where would you like this to go next? Yeah, well, I feel like the other dad, like, twist, like, is our bad guy. And, oh, like, yes. they use the same, like, surrogate, but, like, half. Half the babies are good, and then half the babies are like the Russian operative. Uh, um, I love the twist of mustache well, dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and Laura, same question. Where would you like this to go next in Act Two? Oh, I building off of that idea, I would love if not only if the other dad's bad, but maybe one of the other babies is also bad. Um, yeah like an evil twin scenario. Oh, um, oh man. Yeah, yeah. We also love the car chase, but that's just because I, I love a good car chase with baby, <laughs> big babies. It sounds to me like we're having a baby car wars. chase. <laughs> a car chase to the airport, Dave and Buster's with a pet sidekick in the driver's seat. <laughs> yeah. All right, and before we bounce into act two of Baby Wars, Ian, let us know a line of dialogue for our actors to drop casually in this, this scene. How about, don't touch that buckaroo. <laughs> don't touch that, don't buckaroo. touch that buckaroo. Don't touch that buckaroo. All right. I feel like we're ready. Val, are you ready? Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's do act two of Baby Wars. Grandma? Yes? Grandma, where are we going? We're going on an adventure. Oh. Here, take my take my pinky. Okay. Well, that's such a big hand. Jeez. I'm a, I'm a big boy. Uh, and you take my other hand. Okay. <laughs> Great. And now we're going down to the car. Hold on, boys. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Grandma, are we getting ice cream? Maybe. If this goes well, we're going to get a lot of ice cream. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, first first boy. Uh, uh, big, bigger boy, I'm going to call you Wonner. What? I'm Wonner. <laughs> Wonner? Yeah. Oh. Great. And we'll call you Little Deuce. Ah, oh, dang it. Mm, Little man. Deuce is cool. We'll call you LD. <laughs> yeah, I hope um, maybe we can go with with LD um, instead of Little Deuce because Deuce means poo poo. <laughs> no, Little Deuce, don't drop a big Deuce. What's happening? Unless we do it together. What's happening? Oh, whoa. done. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Oh. Okay, stinks like shit back there. You're welcome. Mm, all right. Let's see if I can get this car. I'm short. I'm a short lady. <laughs> mm, all right, here we go. Mm. Yes, keep pooping, boys. Keep we're, pooping. We are. We are. This will be, <laughs> this will be perfect for our plan. Grandma, can you, can you see? <laughs> well enough, well enough. Okay, okay. I've 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 driven crazier cars than this. They are so late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I know. They should have been here like two hours ago. I'm like, why? I'm like, I know they're babies, but <laughs> yeah, but still, babies, they babies should be on time. I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't blame the babies. I blame no. the keeper of babies. Because keeper Precisely. of babies no time. Babies no no time. No, and that's no. not their job. No, it's not their job. These ones, they do the bioweapon. They sleep. Yeah. They eat. They- they eat. Dave, American babies can be such a Dave and Buster's, you know? Oh my God, they can. Oh, you're oh. so bad. Oh, thank you. It's so oh, bad. You're so oh. bad. You're so bad. They really can, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But without the babies, we don't have a plan to overthrow all of Literally, America. Literally, it's like our only plan. I was, only plan. I was surprised. I was so terrible. I was but, you so know. surprised. I was like, nothing? Like, you don't need us to go, like, do sleeper cell no or... no sleeper cell I, I i just oh i just want to say like a fun cold phrase that makes someone awaken <laughs> yeah like a special like like or like a bunch of numbers yeah yeah but you you say it but you act like you don't know what you're saying but you know the secret and then code. just all of a sudden and you're then, like yeah yeah hey like, try, try it on me try it on okay, me okay i'm gonna case. try some numbers on you okay try some um Eight six seven five three zero nine. Oh, Jenny, I got your number, but I'm still me. <laughs> I didn't work. Okay. 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 Um, five eight three one two. You know nothing. Okay. Can I try? Can I yeah, try? Try. Can I try phrases, or do you want numbers? Um, whatever you feel, whatever feels right. The pigeon has landed. <laughs> nothing. Okay, okay. Nothing. Hey, Celtics, go team. A little something. Okay. In the okay. beginning part. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, Celtics, Irish. <laughs> Pick a phrase that goes better with a cigarette. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Smoke them if you got them. Oh, that's a good one. You good? I wish it good? was real. I you wish good? it was real. Come on, boys. Oh, finally. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, those American babies, they're so huge. Oh, so big. Oh, my oh, God. They're so huge. Yes, everything's Look bigger. Look at their giant heads. A huge hands. <laughs> are you the one of keep? Are you keeper of babies? <laughs> uh, yes, I am. Uh, I am the keeper of the babies. You might know me by my code name, Oreo Double Stuffed. Oh, you are Very a grandma. Same. Very same. Yes. yes. We have books. We have chapters in our books written about you. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry that we're late. We made a pit stop at Dave and Buster's, an American institution. We got stuck in the Ooh. ball pit. Oh, as I said, <laughs> typical American Dave and Buster's. Always at the Dave and Buster. Always at the Dave and Buster's. Um, okay, so um, this one, this is the bigger one. Uh, his name is Wonner. Wonner. I'm Wonner. Hello, Yay. Wonner. You're so big. I'm huge. And, you are and, so big. You, you can know. tell that this but one. He's it, handsome, though, for a big boy. He is very yeah. handsome. He is, he's he is nice. Big boy. He's got a nice, nice face. Could lose They're both very pounds. handsome. Could lose 20 pounds, but still very handsome. <laughs> very handsome, very handsome. No, don't, you, don't you say that okay. about no, my big boy. Let me, good. okay, so I will, pat, I will pat, I will pat one just to make sure. <laughs> oh, he's ticklish, he's ticklish, Very please. nice, very please. nice. He's ticklish. <laughs> they like it. Okay, uh, and then this one is also huge, um, but not as big as one He came out five minutes late, um, mm. or five minutes after, I should say. Uh, little the Deuce, runt. but he, he prefers LD. Little oh. Deuce, LD. We already have nicknames. Okay. <laughs> I will pat. Pat Little Deuce, pat, pat LD down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. Oh, what? What? Oh, no. He's wearing a wire. What? You're wearing a wire? LD, Little Deuce, you're wearing a wire? No. <laughs> Then beep. what the hell is this little deuce? Beep. Uh, beep. God. It's beeping. Beep. Oh my God. Grandma, beep. have you set us up? Grandma, have you set us beep. up? 
no, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how any of this stuff got there. Uh, uh, I don't know how, how dare it got you. There I don't know how it got there either. There's what shit happened? everywhere. What's this happening? is our only plan. The tickling made me shit more. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, uh, and now a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I have to find this line from Amanda that was in the chat. And it was double stuffed is how we got these babies in the first place. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't just sit on that in my brain. I needed to share it with you. Oh, we didn't that, say buckaroo. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Got caught, up, got caught up. I also uh, got caught up. <laughs> we're going to start this time. We're going to break tradition and start with our writers because what we're gearing towards is two important things. One is the resolution of this episode. Our third act is very important for that arc to land, but also we're setting up what will obviously be a second episode and then it's the 80s, so like a 33 episode season and then 10 seasons <laughs> and then a movie that's rebooted 20 years later. Um, we'll start with, with you, Amanda. Anything that you see uh, open loops that we need to close and how, how we might do that. Yeah. So we ended the second act of such a pivotal moment. So I feel like we probably have the bad guys, like we have to figure out what to do with them. And then like, is that their only plan? They say it's their only plan, but like, you know, is this episodic? Is this going to be like a poker face where, you know, every, every episode there's a new Russian that the babies have got to go and uh you know stop um so i think there's a whole there's a whole army of russian babies that uh hence the baby wars i i love that i also i love the russians we've met i really felt like we were like it was like we must get moose and squirrel <laughs> it, was very, <laughs> it was delicious <clears throat> um laura same question act act three what would you like to see next set up for the season, loose threads to close. I kind of feel that, you know, their dad kind of, we need to see him, you know, realize that the babies have been kidnapped. And so he <laughs> needs to actually show up, but maybe at the worst possible moment while, you know, the, the Russians and grandma are enacting their plan. Um, I also feel that little Deuce needs to like reveal himself and his true motives and take charge. Um, yeah, and more Russian babies, always. Yeah. yeah. In in your screenwriting career, did you ever think that you would pitch Little Deuce needs to reveal his true motive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, you know, we get there, we build to it. Uh, <laughs> Ian, same question. Uh, open, you know, loose threads that we need to tie up and things that you'd like to see moving forward through the season of this TV show. Um, well, I think like with the dad from the beginning, there needs to be some kind of like nonsense explanation why the grandma's taken the kids away and kept them away for so long. So maybe like that could be like a recurring thing, like whatever kind of random nonsense excuse she kind of makes, like the dad just kind of goes with it. Yeah. Um, and apologies if I missed this. Do we think that they drove to Russia or did they go to the airport? I kind of, I thought I, they were at a Dave and Buster's. Yeah, I thought they were at okay. Dave and Buster's or just one of those unnamed warehouses near Dave yeah. and Buster's. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and now for our actors, we'll start with you, Trent. Is there something remaining that one of your characters uh, can teach the other characters or us as the audience? Something left to reveal in that way? In terms of teaching, I don't know. I think I think Laura was the one who said that li little Deuce needs to um, come through. And sorry, my dad just called me, hanging up on his ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, but li I mean, my little Deuce needs to reveal himself. I was trying to build up to it there in the second act, but we didn't get to it. Little Deuce needs to reveal himself in the third act. And then, as far as like, as far as Grandma is concerned, like in my mind, the whole only the pilot is the brothers together. And then the rest of the series oh. is the babe, like 
uh, little war. deuce leading the Russian babies, and yes, exactly, baby wars. <laughs> Oneer, yeah, yeah. There's a full like through line <laughs> to the entire season. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Rob, same question, but also, is there any character that one of your characters hasn't interacted with yet that you'd like to see happen? Any oh. any two people that haven't hooked up yet? In, oh in my a god, scene, you see. Uh, no, I like following what Trent said of like the LD being the bad guy and one nerve being the good guy and that's the whole season arc but people haven't met yet no uh i mean we could always bring back ca guy and daryl ford yeah. <laughs> had to be the ford is not president in the 80s but that's okay. i don't who cares <laughs> <laughs> what are we history podcast come on <laughs> and uh carly do you feel like and you don't have to say specifically what it is do you do one of your characters have something to reveal in the last act? I feel like this show in particular has like wild cliffhangers. Yeah, I think uh, as you said that I was like, I think we're gonna find out who the dad is, who the other dad is, okay. and it's gonna surprise us. <laughs> okay. And then uh, finally, Amanda. Can we get a line of dialogue that you would like to see, that you'd like to hear in act three of Baby Wars? Not on my watch. Not on my watch. How did not we not get watch. that in there already? That's a good one. Not on That's my right. watch. Not on my watch. Okay, actors, you have a big task ahead of you. The writer's room is here for you. We're gonna, we're gonna see this through. Val, are you ready for act three of Baby Wars? Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, Ronald, my love, I am home. <laughs> oh, my baby cakes. Where are the big, ba where are our two big babies? I was hoping that wouldn't be the first thing you asked. <laughs> it is, I immediately noticed that our two big babies are not here. <laughs> I thought you might. I thought you might. A father's mm -hmm. intuition. Uh, oh, I, I like them a lot. I like our babies a lot. First, you have to know that before I continue. <laughs> Me too. Yes. Hell, I love our babies. I yeah, that as what I would that's what I would call it. That feeling of like you look at them and you're like, oh my god. Every time I look at you, I love you more. Seeming how somehow. The second thing I want to let you know is that's a great shirt. Where did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> tridentnetwork.com <laughs> where I went to the merchandise section. It's from one of my favorite Trident Network podcast D what commentaries. Is, oh, I love the Trident Network, a three-pronged digital entertainment network that does recorded shows, live shows, and podcasts. In the future, but yes. Yes. It's nice. It's, we're in the 80s. Good shirt. Um, okay, so... Your mother took the baby's Oh, I thought I smelled a third variety of shit mm -hmm. in this house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I let it happen. You let it happen? I let it happen. She's too short to drive. And she, but she did. The Russians are after us, baby. <laughs> Our two big babies are the only bioweapon the United States has to defend against them. Ronald, there's something I have to tell you. It's it's up to us. Two good guys. We, uh, yes, two two lovers, two husbands, and two good guys. It is most important to note that this all sounds normal to me. And I am a good guy who loves you're not, America. You're not upset or I, so I'm, mad at me. I'm um, running through a lot of emotions, but I think the main thing that you need to remember above all else, there's two things. One, I love America. Two, I'm not Russian. We got to go find our children. <laughs> I agree. Grandma, 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 why'd you have to kill those two Ruskies? What happened in there? <laughs> I didn't do anything, boys. What, what happened you... in there? 
you need to you you need to know something here. Come sit on Grandma's lap. Come Are sit you on sure, my, Grandma? Sit on my tiny little lap. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, Grandma, what happened in there? Okay, and you you can't see Grandma because she's covered by yeah, the yeah, babies. Yeah. Um. Okay. What you boys need to understand is that um, while I might be your grandmother, I'm also huh? Double stuffed Oreo. Uh, I, I'm, that might not mean anything to you outside of maybe a, a, a delicacy around dinner time, but I am an, a deeply undercover CIA agent, and um, uh, I, I just need to. What the hell, little Deuce? What are you doing to my life? little Deuce? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Little Deuce, don't shit on Grandma. I'm shitting. Little Deuce, what are you doing? It's Grandma, don't shit on her. I'm shitting. Little Deuce, little Deuce, no! No, Grandma, no! Excellent work, boys. Oh, Mr. President? We've been trying to nab double stuff for years. Oh. Couldn't find her weakness. Yes, I'm the President, Daryl Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Checks out to us. We're we're babies. That I'm the does check out. Board. That that does check out to us. We are babies. Yeah. And now, and now it's time to reveal myself. What? What? These are these are. This is a nunchuck. Flick. What? <laughs> oh, that's sick. Oh. <laughs> You're so good at that for being a baby. How what did I have... get? How did I get so good at it? Not by being Russian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Oh. President, can I have a word with you closer? Wait, no, Mr. President. Boosh! Oh, ow! Uh, <laughs> Mr. President, run! No, Mr. President! Boosh! Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, Mr. President! <laughs> Hang on, what do, got, what do I have in my diaper? I just got shit. Help me! Ow! Don't throw shit on me! Help me! <laughs> you can't attack the president! Not on my watch! Help <laughs> <laughs> oh, why would you do that? <laughs> I have, I have a secret. Whoa! <laughs> I am not a. I'm not from USA. <laughs> Don't make sense. All that borscht you love to eat. <laughs> oh, the, the baby, the baby wars start now. You're no brother of mine, little deuce. You killed oh, our this... grandma. Even if she wasn't our grandma, she felt like a grandma to me. She felt like a grandma to me, but I had to kill her. Everyone I... mock me. Everyone mock me for being so small. Oh. I am huge. Just comparatively, I am smaller, but oh. I am huge. No one respect me, but over in Russia, they respect me. They respect me. Wait until Mustache hears about this little douche. <laughs> little do you know, one or a Mustache Big One will not be surviving the night because bearded big one will be taking care of this. What? No. Must mustache is weak. No. He will die. He's strong. Strong like bull. <laughs> no, he is weak. <laughs> if he was strong, he would have full beard, like like beard big one. <laughs> no, no. Sometimes mustaches are cool on people. Sometimes, but sometimes they're gross. <laughs> little deuce. More like little douche bag. Yeah. Oh, I got, oh, I got a, a something coming out of my douche bag. Oh, I got one for you. Yeah, take that. I take miss that. the boys. I miss them. <laughs> well, we're almost there. There's nothing we need to worry about. I put location tracking devices in their diapers, but in every diaper that we own. So it's like we can track them. I know where they are. Don't worry about it. Go gosh, you, I love you. I love that you always know what to do. You know what, I'm gonna pull over right here. Uh, uh, do you mind if we look at the sunset for a moment? Oh, I would love to look at the sunset for <laughs> you. Are you sh why are you taking me to this Dave and Buster? <laughs> Have you seen the sunset from the ball pit? Um, you're, you're right, I'm so glad we're both good guys. <clears throat> yes, we are both good guys, neither of us Russian. <laughs> mm, okay, here, let's just pop out real quick. Ronald, I need, I need you to know that as a human being, you're the love of my life. <laughs> Raising our two boys um, for the little time that we've done it has been um, the greatest joy that you've been, that you've given to me and that they've given to me. And 
Um, you know, they're That's such big babies. big babies. Yes, yes. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> Love them even. Yes. <laughs> just um, before, before you say all this, just curious, if we ever split up and we did a parent tramp, which baby would you take? <laughs> I would. Well, I would. I would. I would take Little Deuce. I think um, he's smaller and more manageable. And mm. and and one day, one day, one day, I'll be president. And Please, Little Deuce, the A guy. No, my goddamn watch. Karate, karate. My husband. Mustache. Come with me. Mustache. Come with me. It's not your real husband. He's a what? sleeper cell. I mean, technically, I'm your real husband. That's me. Oh, karate, karate, karate. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, I don't must know. Must oh, must your, eight, your 80s karate is so strong. It's the strongest it ever will be in the 80s. Karate, karate. Oh. Mustache, you have to listen to me. <laughs> Everything's gone to shit, literally. Grandma's been killed. The babies are at war. We need your help. My help? Yeah. Yeah. So then, uh, yeah, we need your help. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, he, he's up with but the wait. gun. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> 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 Gotta leave him on a cliffhanger. I was so excited. I'm like riveted. <laughs> so, episode one, Baby Wars, pilot, colon, two big babies. <laughs> Stunning, beautiful, exciting. Wow. I think we nailed it. I always ask a specific HBO. question when we're at the end of these, and I don't know if it applies today, but that question is, does this show remind you of any other shows? <laughs> uh, the Wire. <laughs> the Wire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Americans, but with two big babies. Yes. <laughs> the American I was, babies. I was going to yeah. say a cross mm -hmm. between the Americans American and Rugrats. Babies? Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely an episode of Rugrats that never got made that's this. <laughs> yeah, they're undercover. Do do we think this show is animated? No. Or is this live action? Depend <laughs> depends <laughs> depends how good of actors we can find for the two big babies. Yeah, yeah. True. Or I would Other, be otherwise to... we gotta animate them. Yeah. It's otherwise, like the I, Ellie I think... McBeal baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be open to like puppet babies that don't look quite right, but you know, oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like in that era we definitely have tough guy thought narrators for real baby actors. Oh yeah. <laughs> like like look who's talking. Yeah. Yeah. We would have to. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree. Absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah. So uh <laughs> One of the conceits of this show is that we believe that a real sitcom has a theme song. Real quick, another thank you uh, to our actors, Trent, Rob, and Carly, our writers, Laura, Amanda, and Ian. You guys were all fabulous. You're all welcome back anytime. Now it's time if we could play out, if our actors could lead us in the theme song for Baby Wars. And everybody on camera, feel free to give your best opening credits uh, poses as if your name is uh, exploding onto the screen. Yeah. 
everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.